The White House plans to close the so-called gun show loophole, which is sparking Republican backlash on Capitol Hill. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Burnley. And I'm Darren Bob. Those new rules will require background screenings before anybody can buy guns online or in person at gun shows. Natalie Brand has the story from D.C. In what the Justice Department calls a historic step, it aims to close the gun show loophole by expanding background checks for those who buy firearms at gun shows or online. Under this regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the Internet, at a gun show, or at a brick-and-mortar store. The new action stems from the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act Congress passed after 2022's deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. But lead Republicans on the legislation say the new rules go too far. We were bipartisan. They're bipartisan hacks. And this it will be used as an example of why they don't trust an administration to do it in the future. It'll take 20 years to recover from this crap. Nearly 80,000 licensed gun dealers are already required to run background checks, but this change means an estimated 23,000 currently unlicensed sellers will have to do the same. It applies to larger sellers that advertise, process credit cards, and earn profits from gun show and online sales. There's a reason that they're buying from sellers who are offering these guns for sale, in many cases cash only, no questions asked. Chris Brown, president of Brady United Against Gun Violence, calls this the biggest expansion of background checks since the 1993 Brady Bill. It means lives saved. That's the bottom line. The new regulations are expected to take effect in about a month. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Republican Senators Tom Tillis and John Cornyn say they plan to introduce a joint resolution to overturn those new regulations. 